Hello, Professor Tom's Linux. Good afternoon, good morning, and good evening, and good weather. Hope you are fine today. Today, we're looking at a beta of Cinnamon on PC Linux OS. <coughs> uh, around about 2013 to 2017, it was offered as a desktop on PC Linux OS. Don't remember it that much, but there we go. Uh, and this was a beta version that somebody put out, it was a community version of the ISO and uh, it was only in beta but I don't know, I haven't seen any released released ones but this is from 2017 so this should be back in time actually so yeah we'll call it a back in time maybe but someone asked me to have a look at this cannot remember who, cannot find the comments yada yada but uh, I did like uh, he gave me the link to the ISO which was on an archive site <coughs> so I duly downloaded it but since then I've done a couple of videos about dual booting and yada yada and this went on the back burner so today I've grabbed it out and while I'm yapping I could have started off the VM couldn't I so I've already installed it uh, and the reason why I've already installed it is because, uh, yeah, I shouldn't have done. Because there was some interesting stuff. So, what am I going to do about that? So, he's running off um, metal. It's not running off the SSD. As you can see, I've, I didn't manage to or anything. But, so, instead of that, I'm going to shut it down. Are you sure? Yep. <coughs> And I will take you through the live process. I won't take you through the install. The install is PC Linux OS. We've seen it. We've done it. But I do want to show you the beginning of the live. Because it changes a lot from the standard PC Linux OS. And I know there's settings to do that anyway. But um, yeah. So if I just go to storage here just for a moment. And get rid of those guest editions. Oh, I didn't want to do that, did I? Oh, what's a dope? Do I install this controller? I want a new disc. Oh, come on, Benny Ali, what are you doing? Well, choose an existing disc, that one, yeah. Choo, doo -doo. And I want a new CD. Ah, cinnamon. Okay, I'll just have them both after the idea. It really doesn't matter. So let's start that up. <laughs> oh, what you like, Ali? Okay, so if I boot into the live CD, and let that boot. Now, this does take a bit longer than uh, the PC Linux OS of today, and the main reason for that is uh, waiting for you, Dev. And he. <coughs> Here comes starting you, Dev. Which is now in a different place when starting up the new live CDs. Uh, and the in hardware detection is a lot faster on the new one as well. But this is a couple of years old and it still uses the old store. And I've brought you to this instead of watching a black screen, which is what would have happened anyway. Those three lights do go out, the five lights. It looked like Ubuntu booting. But you could see it without a grey wallpaper with just PC Linux OS and one beater on it, so. We'll just wait for this. And it's just so it could take a minute and it's not lying. There we go. <coughs> we should soon be into a GUI. And here's the first thing. Now normally when PC Linux OS goes up, it asks you for the keyboard. But here, it's actually asking you uh, language. So we've got English, English, American, Danish, Dutch, all that kind of it. So language to use. It can ask me which time zone. It's already been preset somehow for London. Which makes me think uh, a Brit had um, done this. 
And the time zones and all that are normally done after the fact rather than before the fact. You normally set the time zone as one of the first things you do when you set up PC Linux OS after you've installed it. And here we go. So yeah, I just wanted to show you that bit of difference. And when you boot, when it finally comes, okay, yeah, we've got the usual one here that it's in some kind of compatibility mode. And you get this grey Pixel Links OS cinnamon beta wallpaper, which is darn ugly. However, if you go to change desktop background, and we go to wallpapers R76 up here, you can see there is a quite... There are some really, really nice wallpapers, so why it didn't actually ship with any of these? Hello, horsey. Um, I don't know. I really don't know. So anyway, we'll reboot back into the proper... Uh, I'll hit the uh, restart there. <coughs> I said I've already installed it and uh, I will show you something else so did I? yeah I did so you've got the main grub menu here which is different to the standard piece of Linux it looks more like the one that's on other distros we've also got the advanced options but unfortunately I mean I've just booted into the safe mode now uh, 304 is not installed NVIDIA not set to its dconf ok so it didn't have NVIDIA drivers installed pre-installed <coughs> although I went to safe mode instead of rebooting I'll just switch to run level to 5 which is GUI multi user on Linux systems and here we are Just wait for the older desktop to come up. It should come up full screen because I did previously install. Here we go. The guest editions and I did change that awful, god awful wallpaper. So there we go. Uh, in software rendering mode, uh, you may observe things like this could be a problem with the drivers or some such as a blah blah blah. That's going to be running without any hardware acceleration. Now I put the clock there. So I'll just move the desk up. And what I will do. Uh, that isn't exactly what I wanted to do. What I do first. Is change the wallpaper back again. So you could see. There we go. This was the wallpaper that came. Everything else is the same. I haven't installed or done anything yet. Although I did make Synaptic do uh, a reload just to see. But when I went to update it, it was going to remove Cinnamon, being as it's no longer in the packages. Because if I go into local upgrades, you can see that all the cinnamon, all of this. So what I will do want to do actually is search for obsolete. Ob. Obsolete. It's obsolete packages. Yeah, task obsolete isn't actually installed, so I'm just wondering why. See if I can mark all upgrades. Just gonna mark it. Okay, so it's telling me that Task Absolute can't be installed anyway. Uh, we'll unmark it. Let's see if we can apply fix broken packages first. So, what is being held? Okay, errors over. This may call breakages. Correct. Da -da. 
enable correct dependencies. Okay, so what I'm going to do actually, because I was in the repositories, I turned off that one there, that one there, and that one there. So we'll add those back and reload. I'm just interested what happens. So anyway, let's have a look through why Synaptic's doing its look. So we have the panel and middle here, and now I've got it as dark theme, it came with a white theme. Maybe I should have done a fresh install. As you can see, it was downloading 30 different repos. And as you can see, all these, the PC Linux or ZZ Mirror, have all gone. So it was a check mirror. And it was from the 2012 base, so yeah, they won't be around anyway. So let's see if we can mark all upgrades now. Uh, to be upgraded, top obsolete, and system monitor and Python to be kept. Right, mark that. Okay. So I'm not sure why it was going to be. It says fix broken packages first. So. Yeah, click that. Because it looks like I can't update with those fixed packages. Which is a shame. I'd like to have given this. Uh, a new coat of paint, as it were. Hmm. Okay, so there would have been 1,133 packages to update. Yeah, total obsolete, obsolete's not on nettle, and G-top, okay, and those packages have been met dependencies, uh, fair enough, at least I know, hmm, okay, we'll just um, look through what we had anyway, and uh, I can be able to update this now and know what package has been held. Uh, we have a Bluetooth manager of course. Let's go to archiving. We have Brasario and the archive manager. And it's the archive manager. Oh, looks like a, a known one. Fortunately I don't see any about it. it just says archive manager. So I have no clue which archive manager this is. But it looks like file roller. So I'm going to have to find out why I got rid of this. Uh, Brasario is our burner, of course. <coughs> right, audio CD, data project, just copy, burn, yep. And Brasario back in 2017 was version 3.12.1, which is actually copyright only 2010, so a lot older than the distro. I'm not sure whether Brasario, oops, I didn't close it, there's no, yeah. <coughs> there's no border there uh, to specify that one, could it just blend it into each other there. Configuration, configure computer, password key system settings, which will be the cinema one. And it is backgrounds, effects, fun streams. That kind of thing, display, etc., etc., administration, users, and groups. Uh, is that an actual? No. Just an icon to tell me. Uh, under themes. 
Oh yeah, dark board, yeah. I'll, I'll put it on Essex dark. It was uh, actually on the lighter theme. But do we have these like clocks and so on? Uh, elementary themes, I think it was on another theme. It was on a, um, a circular theme. So it was a numic circle. There we go, that's what it was on. So I'm just trying to get it back. There. So, anyway. Let's have a look more. Uh, text editor was Z. I do believe it is Z 1.12 simple lightweight text editor. Uh, we had Nemo for the file manager. Nemo is a fine file manager, nothing wrong with that. Oh, what else do we have here? We had Firefox and Pigeon, the only two items in there. Uh, I'll load up Firefox. And we'll have a look. This looks like a, a 5X series. Oops, I didn't want to do that, did I? It's the question mark I was going after and I hit the power button. Okay, so yeah, 52.0, so where's a 5X? Okay. Uh, just where I'm on the current update channel. Very cool. I couldn't get rid of those hell packages. I'll just see what's being pinned in Synaptic in a minute. And uh, I'll sort that. Okay, we have a showing for in and install RPMs in there. So that's a bit like GW, blah, blah, you know. You can right click a, an RPM file in your file manager and it should install it. So that's all good. Uh, office, we only have calculator and document viewer. Uh, disk usage analyzer, system monitor. Yeah, let's bring that up. Let's get the old resource tab, and we are looking at 752 megabytes of RAM there. But I don't actually believe that is the actual weight of it. So let's see if I can open that in terminal and do top. Because H top will be in there. And I can't install it right there. And what we're looking at here, yeah, not too bad. Uh, one point one seven. Good point to this, but yeah, okay. Oh, right, you did. Oh dear. Oh, what else we got? We got the calculator there. I'm on the all applications. Am I? Yeah, I thought so. It just seems there's anything, like, apart from the settings, anything, like, worthy. I mean, we've got a screenshot of the PC, an image viewer. Which is X viewer. Okay. So, yeah, this isn't running too bad. It's not as quick as it should be, but it was only a beta, and it didn't last. And I'm wondering why PC Linux OS dropped this uh, desktop. I really am confused as to why they would drop the desktop. Uh, Rhythm Player, Known Player, and Presario, and Pulse Audio. So, <coughs> let's go back to um, Synaptic. Go to package, lock version, force version. Okay. Um, these are unstable. Do -do -do -do. Hmm. Right, see, it's been removed. Cinnamon, cinnamon, cinnamon settings, blah, blah. And all these. So fortunately it will remove and update a lot of these but then you'd have no GUI to come back to if it's removing the control sensor and all that kind of business. If I was to mark them we'd have problems, yeah. And it knows this. I 
wonder what packages are being held then. Oh, okay. So if I click on that, I can get past a lot of packages and it will download 2,358 updates. But then, if I do do that, I will lose the cinema desktop. So I'm going to leave it as it is, which is a shame. Really a shame, I think. So anyway, what else we have? We have uh, me. Running control, of course. Uh, we can launch the player from here. Boom. Which is red and box. Boom. So there were some really nice, li neat little touches. You know. I haven't really, really used cinema much. Even on Mint, I didn't bother with cinema much. It was, it's, it was a GTK3 desktop, and I'm not really in, into GTK desktops. It is how I am. Or oh, saying that, I do run open box. Uh, yes. But open box is just so light and fast. And Trinity, of course, is QG3, so. Hmm. Don't know what to make of this. <coughs> and someone's car has just gone off. Thank you very much for that. Uh, let's change the desktop background to something a bit more, yeah, a bit more nice. I did have the horse one before, but let's try this one down here. That's a bit barren. Better. That's a beautiful shot. See, so I had some really nice wallpapers, and it's a shame. And nice transparency on the desk bar down here. So it's a shame that, you know, it didn't come out the box like this, looking like this, it might have survived. I do not know. Anyway, that's my short review of Cinnamon Beta. And it's a shame that it wasn't continued. Uh, I guess the extra repositories were for themes and so on, but yeah, alas, not to be. Anyway, I'll leave you to it and uh, I'll see you all later. If you liked this video, thumb it up. If you didn't, thumb it down. And I'll see you.